Hi, my name is Aaron Miller and this is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle and shows you how to get it. We've had the good fortune of spending nine months in the Mexican region of Baja California Sur. Six months of that being in La Paz and three months in Los Barillas. In today's video, I'm going to summarize based on our experiences here, what are some of the differences between La Paz and Los Barillas. One of the main differences between these two spots is that La Paz is city living and Los Barillas is more of a relaxed beach town type of atmosphere. For example, at times the traffic on the main road could consist of about half and half quads to passenger vehicles. Whereas in La Paz, it's going to be virtually all passenger vehicles. You'd almost never see a quad on one of the main roads in La Paz. La Paz is the capital city of Baja California Sur. And because of this, you've got a much more densely populated city than you would in a beach town comparison of Los Barillas. You'll experience more of a condensed hustle and bustle energy in La Paz, but you will also gain things like a wider access to products and services in La Paz or Los Barillas at a more reasonable price as well. La Paz will have things like Sam's Club and large franchises where Los Barillas will have more smaller boutique type grocery stores. The dine out options in Los Barillas are much less varied than say La Paz. Uh, La Paz will have all different kinds of restaurants, dine in, dine out, fast food, all different tiers of dining levels. Whereas Los Barillas will have just a handful of any of these things, usually at a higher price than you would find them in La Paz for. Let's touch on driving distances. So usually you would be flying into Cabo Airport and from there, Los Barillas would be approximately a one and a half hour drive and La Paz would be approximately by memory about two and a half hours. So geographically speaking, if you were to go this route, Los Barillas would be about halfway between Cabo San Lucas and La Paz. So depending on which spot you're staying in, you'll have different driving distances to reach certain things. So for example, if you're staying in La Paz, Yes, it has beaches right in and around town. They may or may not provide what you look for in a beach. And so you may be looking at driving. For example, if you want soft sand beach that's very gradual, you probably see yourself driving to somewhere like Playa Malandra, which is going to be a little bit over an hour from the main town. Whereas beaches like El Canete and El Calapin uh, to the other side of La Paz drop off fairly quickly and so it's reasonable to think that you can see whale sharks or dolphins quite close to the shore. Compare that to Los Barillas where they have an excellent multi-purpose beach basically right in town that a lot of the times you can walk to from where you're staying or a couple minute to five minute quad ride and you're there. This beach also drops off fairly rapidly and so again you've got things like the possibility of seeing large game fish or dolphins right in next to shore. If you are based in Los Barillas and you are looking at driving into La Paz for groceries, for example, or nightlife, restaurants, that sort of thing, 
you're looking at a little over an hour to an hour and a half to drive into La Paz. When you're considering distance to the airport, the airport that you'd generally be flying into and out of is Cabo San Lucas. So in the case of La Paz, it would be slightly closer to and from that airport of Cabo San Lucas, say an hour and a half, whereas it would be approximately two and a half hours to and from La Paz to that same airport. If you wanted to enjoy the beach in Los Barillas for a little while, while you were staying in La Paz, you'd be looking at approximately an hour and a half or a little bit more drive to go from La Paz to the beach in Los Barillas. Each spot is going to have its pros and cons between these two. It's really going to depend on what your personal interests are and the kind of uh, lifestyle you want to enjoy while you're in this region of Mexico. So again, in summary, La Paz is going to be much more of an urban city, hustle and bustle, high energy kind of lifestyle where you have access to a variety of products and services, restaurants, nightlife at a reasonable price. Compared to Los Barillas, which is going to be a much less populated, more relaxed, laid back atmosphere on a beach, kind of almost like a surf town, although ironically enough, it doesn't really have any real surf, but there's lots of things to do on the beach there. They will have less variety of products and services, restaurants, etc., and usually at a higher price, but in exchange for that, you gain, like I said before, serenity and immediate access to excellent beaches that are not very crowded. Ultimately, like I mentioned before, it will come down to personal preferences for you. In my opinion, you can't go wrong in either of these locations. They both have some very real positives to them and we enjoyed staying and living in both of these spots, Los Barillas and La Paz. We would return to either of these without hesitating. Possibly one of the optimal scenarios might be to consider splitting your time between two such locations where let's say part of the time you're enjoying the urban type of lifestyle and the other part of the time you're enjoying the beach town lifestyle. In my case, that would be fairly enjoyable. My name's Aaron, this is Plan Free. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're talking about on this channel, click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it just takes a second, but it helps a lot. We'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.